God, how do I already need to cut these? Hey you guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. We are going to be doing another current favorites today and I feel like on this go around it's definitely more focused on fashion and beauty but there are a couple of like lifestyle slash dog things that I did want to share with you guys. But before we get into it, I just want to welcome anyone who's new here to my channel. I create content on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. I would love it if you would subscribe, hit the notification bell, and for everyone watching please make sure to like this video. It lets me know to keep up with these current favorites videos and of course leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your recommendations recommendations are of things that I should try out but let's just go ahead and dig into it I don't have like a ton of stuff this time around I feel like I definitely pulled back on purchasing things slash actually I should say I pulled back on purchasing things for me most of the things that I've been purchasing are for Leo and I already did like a comprehensive dog favorites video of all of the things that Leo has been loving and that we've been loving for Leo a couple weeks back so if you guys want to check out that video I will link it right here but one thing that I got after that video that has become um, such a big hit in our house like Leo will literally play with this for hours if I keep refilling it and it is his snoop it is so dirty it's so disgusting so the one thing that I don't like about this is that with this material it picks up like every single piece of dust and hair that it rolls across so even if you keep your house like super super tidy it will find dust and hair to cling to so first off please don't mind that but Leo is obsessed with this thing like I said if I keep refilling it he will play with this thing for hours but basically it has like a couple different modes so this is the easy mode I started him out with this one just so that he could kind of like get a feel for it and just kind of like figure out what he needs to do because I put it in like it's harder mode right away and he was completely disinterested in it so if you get this start your dog on it with it out just so that they can get like a feel of how it works but basically you fill it up with treats it's easier to do it when it's out in the easy mode but yeah you can do treats kibble whatever you have that you know that they like and will want to like chase after and try to get out of this if you leave it like this just put it on the ground and they know to roll it and the trees will fall out a lot easier the way it's really supposed to be done and the I guess advanced slash regular way is to pop this back in so that as they're rolling it and then they're also supposed to flip it the trees kind of like fall into the grooves here so that they have to keep rolling it and keep flipping it and if your dog is the type that likes to like solve puzzles that is really treat driven and stuff like that this will literally keep them occupied for so long because they're gonna want to keep on like working on it to get the treats out I would suggest the first time you use this to also do like high value treats so that they're really really motivated to get stuff out and then after that you can do a mix of high value treats and like like regular treats or like high value treats and some of their kibble. I've seen people also feed their dogs out of this like they'll put their whole dog's breakfast in this and make their dog work for their food. Leo does not finish his meals if he's being challenged so we don't do slow feeders or puzzles or anything like that for him when it comes to meals but we'll take say half the kibble he's supposed to get in his breakfast and use it for enrichment throughout the day and this is one of the things that we do with him and he'll definitely take it that way but if your dog is the type that would finish their entire meal out of this this could be a really really fun activity for them and just like a fun way to switch up meal times. And then if your dog gets really good at this like Leo has, I mean this dog is like a fucking Einstein, it's nuts. He figured out from watching me, cause he would get this stuck in a corner, so I get it out of, oops, one just fell out, but I get it out of a corner for him or out from underneath the table and I'd like toss it out and he would notice that when I tossed it, more treats would fall out. So when it starts getting harder like this, like there's less treats, he is now taken to tossing it. He'll pick it up and he'll just like toss it in the air and try to like, get it to bounce so that more treats fall out. Or he has also figured out on his own that if he throws this against a wall, against the couch, against the coffee table, more treats fall out too. So he's gotten really good at this. And if your dog is like that and gets to that level, you can make it even harder on them and get one of these things for it. This is called a nook and it goes right here in the center it's made of the same material both these materials are kind of sticky so it's really hard for the dog to get it out and it just like makes it more challenging for them to get treats out i'm slowly introducing him to this i did put it in and i noticed that he lost interest in his snoop pretty quickly so i'm going back and forth between putting it in and not putting it in and then eventually he is gonna have to like work harder and have the nook in there at all times because again He's just getting through this way too fast. But yeah, high energy dog moms or just dog moms in general who like want to mentally stimulate your dog, get a snoop. It's like, it's so fun to watch them do this. Then my next favorite is a pair of sneakers that I got recently, my Nike Air Force Ones. I can't believe it took me so long to get Air Force Ones and now I'm obsessed, I want more pairs. These have been getting worn quite a bit so they're a bit dingy, I need to clean them. But these are so comfortable. I remember the very first time I slipped these on, I was like, oh, 
This is like the ultimate walking shoe. This is a Disneyland shoe, hands down. Like I could walk for hours in this. I take Leo on his long walks in these. And I also love the style. It's just so classic. I love the black and white. These ones are the 07 Air Force Ones. I'm not super familiar with Air Force Ones and the different variations, but just for anyone wondering, these are the 07. And I will have the exact ones linked. But yeah, basically I've been wearing this with almost every single outfit of mine. In fact, I've had to like start pulling back and reminding myself to not wear it and like wear some of my other sneakers because it's getting to the point where I'm like why do I even own other sneakers since all I wear is this but I just love them again they're classic they go with anything they're super comfortable and you just like you really can't go wrong with a pair of Air Force Ones in your closet then the next item is another Amazon jumpsuit. This one is the same one as the OQQ one that I mentioned in my last favorites video, but that one was long sleeve and this is the short sleeve version of it. Obviously I went out to get the short sleeve version since it is now spring and then we're gonna get into summer. I love the jumpsuit so much. It just flatters you so well. It like hugs you in the right places. It shapes you really nicely. So I just needed one that was gonna be a little bit more spring and summer appropriate. And this one fits the exact same way. It's just as flattering, but I can wear it in the summer and winter time because it's sleeveless so I won't overheat but I love these jumpsuits long sleeve short sleeve whatever they're just so fun to style there's so 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 many ways that you can style a jumpsuit like this if you guys want me to do a video like that of like five ways to style this type of jumpsuit let me know I'm definitely happy to but it is a piece that is a go-to for me a lot of the times because if I just want to do an easy outfit I don't want to have to think too much I just want to throw on one thing then accessorize around it this is the perfect base for an outfit like that then moving into a few beauty products before I lose them in this chair the first item is my new go-to concealer it is the concealer that I'm wearing right now I have not abandoned shape tape it is still my favorite hands down if I have a full glam face that I need to do because I'm going to an event or anything like that I always 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 will use shape tape but for like day to day or if I'm just like kind of casually filming like this type of video I consider a little bit more casual I have been loving the winky Lux. what is this the peeper perfect it's kind of a tongue twister full coverage under eye concealer this stuff is so good like look at my look at my under eyes like it covers up so well it like definitely brightens my under eyes I do have a color that's a little bit light for me it's light medium and that is on purpose I prefer my under eye concealers to be light so that I get a little bit more of a brightening effect. But Winky Lux did send this to me and I'm so glad I just, again, I'm so obsessed with it. It has been a go-to. It actually really shocked me how much I like this because the formula on this feels really, really thin and lightweight. So you would think that's not gonna give a ton of coverage, but it really does. I mean, just look at my eyes. But yeah, I love this concealer. I cannot live without it. Like if I was packing for a trip and I needed to only bring one concealer, I actually would choose this one because the shape tape is just a little bit too heavy for like lighter makeup days or if I just want to wear concealer and no other makeup, just like a little bit of concealer to clean up some places. This formula is thin enough that it can like blend into my skin a little bit better because like when I use Tarte Shape Tape, it's a little bit heavier so you need to do a little bit more of a face and makeup with it. But for this, I feel like you can wear it on a bare face. You can build it up and wear on like a fuller glam face. It's just like a very, very versatile concealer. And again, super surprising on the coverage with how lightweight it is. It literally feels like I'm wearing nothing. Then another product that is currently on my face, it is the Tower 28 Lip Gloss. What is the actual name of this? This is the Shine On Lip Jelly. Oh my God, I love this formula. It's what's on my lips right now. I have this one in the color Cashew, which is just kind of like a nudie brownie pink color. And I love this formula my lips feel so moisturized i love the level of gloss on it it's not like too overly like wet looking where it's dramatic but it does give like a nice shine to the lips it's not sticky at all it's not heavy and i feel like the color on this is like the perfect amount of color it's not like completely sheer but it's not completely opaque either it falls perfectly in the center so you can definitely wear it alone or wear it over something like a lipstick or my favorite way to do it is wearing this over a lip liner right now i actually don't have anything else on my lips besides this so you're seeing this exactly like how it is if you put it on bare lips and this is a go-to I've literally been using this lip gloss with every single makeup look since I got it the next item is a foundation that has been out for so long again I am wearing it on my face right now but I just recently finally purchased it and discovered it and fell in love with it and it is the Sephora collection best skin ever foundation this one is a natural finish and a long wear foundation and I can tell you it is definitely long wear I put this on this morning and it's almost six o'clock and I mean I'm oily because I didn't really powder myself down very well but the foundation itself is still sitting so so nicely so I guess I would say if you're oily just make sure you really powder 
powder your face down or you might just need to apply like a translucent powder part way through the day but even when you're oily like your face doesn't eat up this foundation it still sits on the skin really nicely it doesn't like sink all the way in to the point where it just like disappears so yeah I really am blown away by this foundation I get why there was so much hype around it when it came out it has definitely been a go-to for me and then just for anyone who's curious the color that I am wearing is 33N which has just been a perfect match for me when I first got it I thought it was gonna be a little bit light but it does oxidize a touch so just know that going into it if you're in between shades I would lean towards the lighter shade because when it oxidizes I would say it gets like half a shade to a full shade deeper then my next favorite is like a three minute face mask and this one is from youth to the people I've always wanted to try their products so I finally ordered some and I'm obsessed with this I use this like two to three times a week which is what you're supposed to do with this because it is kind of powerful it's not exactly like a face mask it's more of they call it a facial but this is the yerba mate resurfacing energy facial it's an instant microdermabrasion enzyme treatment so i love this because whenever i use it the next morning i wake up and my skin is like literally radiant it looks like i am glowing like i have very healthy luminous and super super even toned skin and that effect will last for a couple days with me so that's why i love this mask usually whenever like you use a mask like this here's what it looks like inside but usually whenever you use a mask like this those effects only last for like a day or so but I definitely still feel like my skin is very radiant and stuff up to like two days after I use this mask and then just for anyone who gets this yes your skin will be red after you use this again you're only supposed to leave it on for three minutes because it is very powerful but your skin will be a little bit red so definitely do this at night I would say though that the red always dissipates within an hour after using this but just if you want to be safe especially the first time you use it I would do it at night so that your skin has like all night to like rest and recover from it and you can just like wake up the next morning with the most beautiful skin ever then my last favorite is a bag that I adopted from my mom she didn't want this bag and I feel like long chomp bags are like the current it bags I know it's like more of the minis that everyone's rocking but I mean a free long chomp bag is a free long chomp bag but this has been a go-to bag for me on the weekends this one I think is the Le Pliage bag it's the crossbody one it comes with the strap i think that this is either a small or a medium i'm not entirely sure because i'm not like super super familiar with long chomp does it say in here oh no this is okay so this is the medium it's not the small this is the medium i always thought that this was the small for some reason but it fits so much stuff in it it's so so easy to carry i mean i have the handles here if i want to keep it close but then i also have the crossbody like i said just a really really good weekends errands bag i just throw it on i can fit literally my entire life in this i even have leo's doggy bag in here too that i use for him on walks because we just got back from a doggy play date but yeah i really really love this bag now i kind of like want to go and purchase the small or the extra small but in general love this bag and also like this material is so durable you can kind of just like throw this around and it's very easy to clean it's really good about like not snagging on anything because it is like so smooth and tightly woven it doesn't get caught on much so yeah very very glad that my mom didn't want this bag because i love it all right, you guys, well, that is it for my current favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, saw some things that maybe inspire you or things that you might want. Again, if you're new here, I would love it if you would join my little YouTube family and subscribe and hit the notification bell. And of course, don't forget to like this video and leave me a comment down below. But I love you guys. Thank you guys so much again for watching. I'll see you very soon again in my next video. Bye.